Hey, Peace Street fam and any potential visitors we might have this weekend. We are here at Pulaski Street Church of Christ. We're gonna reopen this Sunday for one service only at 10.30 a.m. And I certainly wanna invite you to be with us. And um, it, it, this will be the only service we do in the, there on Sunday mornings, each Sunday morning uh, going forward for a little while. So when you get here, we're gonna just wanna kinda of take you on a brisk walk through the safety measures that we're gonna be taking uh, for our return. Uh, you'll notice the doors open. Both of these will be propped open so you can go right in without having to touch anything, okay? As you, as you come into the building, hand sanitizer is everywhere. We'll have face masks available for you. They'll be kind of spread out here. You, if, you, if you wanna wear one, grab one. Um, we are kind of encouraging members and folks to maybe uh, wear those masks, especially when we're singing. Again, we're not mandating them, but, um, but I think uh, their use, especially during singing, would be good. You'll notice we've got a couple of platters here and got some samples on them. This platter is going to be personal communicates, one per bag. This one's going to be personal communicates, two per bag. So you'll just grab you a bag if you're a single person. Maybe you're a couple. Maybe you've got four in your family that need one of these personal communicants. You grab a couple of those. You know, you get to do a little math, right, when you, when you come in. Um, you'll notice over here that we've got some, uh, some bottled water. So we're going we're gonna to ask folks uh, not to use the drinking fountains. In fact, we'll probably, we haven't done that yet, but we'll probably put some trash bags or something over the, the, the water fountains. But if you're one of those folks that has a tendency to get pretty thirsty, grab you a little water bottle and uh, take it with you. Um, so you'll have a, a PCK, potentially a mask, and a water bottle. And then you're going to want to walk into the, uh, the auditorium here. And as you come in, you're going to see that every other pew has been taped off. If you come to a pew that's taped off, there's a couple things you don't want to do. One, you don't want to jump over it, okay? That could get kind of weird. And you don't want to go under it. In fact, you don't want to sit on these pews at all, okay? If, if you slide in there, you know, I don't know what we'll do to you, okay? I, I can't promise that it'll be pretty, but, but we, uh, we just want you to sit where the, the pews where they're not taped off. And whenever you sit down, uh, you know, make sure you're kind of keeping the distance between you and others sitting on that bench, uh, trying to trying to maintain that six feet distance that has become world famous, right? All right, as we kind of as we walk down here, um, I don't know if my cameraman can show you some of this, but you'll you'll see we got some new features. That right there is a new projector. Uh, it's massive. It's like twice the size of the one we had. We had to get it because we got to integrate it into our new live streaming uh, system here. In fact, there is a camera that you will see on the back wall here, right above the clock, right below the opening to the crow's nest there. Um, one of the things that might be a little, I don't know if we want to say shocking or unnerving, is this big white board that's kind of out in the front here. And the reason that's the case is we've got a new uh, projector screen that is, is a wide screen that's going to fit well with this, uh, with this new projector. I know that it looks maybe a, a little out of place, but we've got plans to kind of get it integrated in the future. So you'll just have to kind of, I guess, live with it. These things right here are new for new wide screens for those of you who like to sit in the wings. Okay. Um, and as um, I'll mention this, next door in the fellowship building is going to be our overflow. All right. So, and we're going to be monitoring that. As we see things filling up in here, we, we're going to ask uh, some of our deacons, families, if need be, if we're needing room for some of our members or visitors. We're going to ask them to go to the fellowship building. They're, it's going to be live streamed. The worship service will be live streamed into there as well. And they'll be able to view that and worship with us, you know, even though they're a building over. But that's to make sure that we can accommodate as many people as possible on uh, this Sunday. 
Now, as um, as you're exiting, we you know once the service is over, of course you're going to use your personal communion kits during the uh, during the Lord's Supper. Uh, we'll have a prayer at the end for the contribution because that's uh, what you're going to drop off on your way out the door. Uh, we're asking folks not to use the two doors in the middle. In fact, there are signs here that say things like this. Please do not exit through these doors. All right. Now, that doesn't mean you couldn't get through these doors. Let's say, God forbid it, there is a fire. All right. By all means, go through the doors. But otherwise, we want folks exiting the same way they came in. And so this is, we've kind of made our way to the other side of the auditorium here. We even put up some signs here to let people know where restrooms are and what the new exit is. Here's the inner foyer. See how we got it blocked off. Uh, and as you, as you leave, uh, you'll be able to place your contribution in one of these baskets. We're going to have, we're going to have an usher, in fact, that'll be uh, here, you know, to make sure no shenanigans are being pulled with a contribution. And then remember those, uh, those water bottles and uh, those personal communicates, the little baggies they're in? This is where you want to throw all of that stuff on your way out, you know, kind of help us keep the auditorium as clean as possible. These doors will be open. They're not open right now, but they will be open. Whatever germs I'm leaving here should be dead by Sunday, right? And uh, once you get out here in the parking lot, hey, you can congregate with people. There's, there's room to do that to say hello, to catch up, to wave at people, you know, try not to, try not to hug people or, or, uh, we certainly don't want, uh, we don't want to be shaking hands. You could bow. Um, there's, uh, there's different ways you can greet one another. That may be the toughest part of all of this, uh, but we're, we're looking forward to it. I, I'm excited to actually I'm looking forward to preaching to human beings. Uh, not to say I haven't preached to human beings, but I've been been staring at a little hole at the top of my computer for uh, for two and a half months now, and it's going to be good to see a smiling face uh, to have some interaction there on Sunday. Uh, we do. We're just trying to stay safe, so um, we we do ask you that if any of these safety measures are gonna be uncomfortable for you or difficult for you to follow and, and you're like, I'm gonna to choose to stay home. Maybe you're gonna to choose to stay home because you're in that quote unquote vulnerable category of people. Uh, we understand that, okay? We understand, not to mention the Lord understands that you're gonna stay stay home and worship with us virtually. We're Again, we're gonna be set up to live stream. And so we're gonna to continue to do that for probably well, until the Lord comes back or, or whatever. So um, so we, we're trying to accommodate as many people as we can. And uh, love you, miss you, and I hope it's possible for you to be here Sunday so we can see each other. Thanks.